Hello fellow bookquesters, this is I am the bookquester. Today I am introducing you this great book. Rick Riordan presents Dum Da 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 Arusha and the End of Time. A Pandava novel by Roshani Chokshi. So, guys, this is not a book made by Rick Riordan. It is Rick Riordan presents, which basically explains that that Rick Riordan, he doesn't know about all the mythologies in the world. Obviously, he knows about the Greek mythologies. And that's the Egyptian mythologies. And the Norse mythologies. But even Rick Riordan, this master, doesn't know all the myths in the world. Which is why that he worked together with people who do, p authors, people who do know about those mythologies. Hindu mythologies? This book, Hindu mythology, worked with Roshani Chakshi with the tutoring of Rick Riordan, the great myth master himself. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy the details. Let's get right on to it. Arusha is a liar. She lies to her friends, she lies to her mom, she lies to her teacher, only because she wants them to feel, she wants them to look, make her think she's special, that she's gifted. But one day, her friends come over and they catch her in her lie. And they say, all you do is lie. And for the lamp, for the cursed lamp, she had said that, that they had a cursed lamp and they said nah you're lying because that cursed lamp has a legend that if you lit it the sleeper would a demon called the sleeper would come out and it would raise Lord Shiva the Lord of Destruction and it and that Lord Shiva will dance and time will end thus the title is Arusha and the End of Time. And because of the stupid dare, she lit, she lit the fire. The lamp shone. Dun, dun. And because of that lamp, the sleeper went loose. And, oh Aru, oh Aru, what have you done? Because that was a Big problem because when the sleep, if the sleeper manages to wake Lord Shiva, the world will, time will end, and most of the humans in that world will freeze. Don don. So Arusha has to rescue, and uh, she can't do it alone. And a pigeon comes out, a pigeon, and the pigeon tells her that she is a reincarnated magical panda brother. Pandava brother and that Pandava brother and the Pandava brothers were the magical mythical heroes of all the Hindu mythology myths and they were mighty they were in favor of the gods and they were demigods who who was Arusha's father her father the, just guess just guess you got it. it was Indra the king of the gods I know, it's truthful that we can see that most of the main characters are major godlings. Let's just say godlings, okay? And then, so, Indra, I mean, not Indra, Indra's the king of the gods. Uh, um, Aru, and Mini, who is another reincarnated Panda brother, who is the daughter of death, they're together. They have to defeat the sleeper before he will unleash the Lord Shiva and, you know, brings the end of time. And so, Minnie and, so Minnie and Aru has traveled to the land of the dead and unlocked the celestial, celestial weapon. The only weapons that can kill the sleeper. Can they do it? And all is hidden in plain sight, remember that. And the first gift that the gods had given them, the orb 
the size of a ping pong ball, and the mirror. It isn't useless, and you will find out if you get to the end of the book. Great book, guys! And like always, your book quester and the book quester. Thanks, guys.